What's up guys? We're back with uh, another video <laughs> after a long time But we're back But today we're gonna take a look at some uh, some tire cleaning products I have here Some stuff you can buy hardware store um, Like auto parts stores or specialty like ordering online only And just cheap stuff First, we have the, uh, this is a uh, Purple Power. You can get this at any hardware store, auto parts store. Uh, it's maybe like 10, I don't know, 10 bucks for a gallon or something like that. Uh, next, you have, like, let's say Simple Green. Just an all-purpose cleaner, it's not a degreaser. Purple Power is, but Simple Green, all-purpose cleaner. Uh, and you have more specialty sort of stuff. This is the Griotias, heavy duty wheel cleaner. This is my least favorite. It smells really bad. Um, and we have more specialty stuff, online order only, Adams polishes, tie and rubber cleaner. I haven't tried this, we're gonna try it today. Uh, and then an eco all-purpose cleaner. Same thing like Simple Green, but they're supposed to be way better. This is, I think, $15 a bottle, so it better be better. And this is just water to rinse everything down. I'm not going to do any high pressure or hose water, so it's just going to be this. See how it works with that. Uh, and as far as the tire, I've already washed the car. I washed it yesterday, so it looks clean. Very clean, very shiny. Like You can see the reflection. Look at that. It's beautiful. But the tire is not 100% clean. Look, you, see, you see the staining from, from the previous tire dressing right there. As it moves around, as I wipe it off my finger. Now, what I use on this, which I'm not going to use anymore, is the uh, Black Magic uh, tire gel. So, that's a solvent silicone based, which I'm going to switch away from, and I'm going to be using uh, Adams Polish's VRT, which I read really good stuff about. So I want to try that after we get this tire really, really clean, like super clean. And that's how it looks right now. So let me set you guys up on the floor here so you guys can look uh, and see what these products can do. Uh, first one I'm going to use is going to be uh, the Purple Power Degreaser. And this is diluted 4 to 1. Uh, scales are right there, so it's 4 parts degreaser and then the rest all the way up to the ring of the of the bottle for the whole one part of water so we're going to use that on this tire and then i'll switch over to one of the other tires and use a different product i mean in reality i'm only going to try these three the eco all purpose the uh the purple power and the uh, tire and rubber cleaner uh, these are just that I've used before. The Simple Green, this is what Simple Green did. This is what it did. Not much. And I scrubbed it. Like three times. And it didn't do much. But this is what, what it did. So I'm not going to use Simple Green again. Uh, the Griotias, it smells really bad. It's not worth it. I'm not going to use it. Maybe if I, uh, if I drove the car enough, I would. Because it would be dusty as far as the brake dust. But no, I'm not going to use it. It smells really bad and the smell lingers for like a week so that's not worth it so these three see what they can do as far as the degreaser i don't really like using degreaser around the car just because well it's degreaser you know i don't want to be spraying any of the paint but whatever i mean we'll see how it goes as far as this other stuff this is just a cleaner and this this is supposed to be really good stuff and it's and it's not bad for uh for you and the environment. And tire rubber cleaner, I, it smells like a degreaser, but we'll see. So let me set you guys up and we'll start spraying this, see what happens.
far as the brush, nothing special. This is just a tire and wheel brush. I'm gonna use to scrub the tire. It's not stiff. So, if anything, I'll switch over to a, a stiffer brush. If it doesn't remove anything and see if that does something. But for right now, I'm just gonna use this. And the first one we're gonna use is the Purple Power. foaming as much as I'd like. I guess foaming doesn't have to do with the cleaning power, right? <laughs> we'll see. Or maybe it's just the initial removal of the uh, tire shine that's on there. It's not preventing it from foaming. I can always change the dilution, make it stronger. I can always do Three to one. Are you five to one? I think I've been scrubbing it pretty hard. I don't know if I need to scrub it harder. But dang. All right, let's rinse this shit off. I can tell there's gonna be some still some tire shine on there just because the the actual water's beating off like on the top here because this, the tire shine is tire gel in the actual rubber. But this isn't really cleaning it off. Oh. Let's see what it does. I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna call that good and rinse it off. I think that's pretty good. I'm scrubbing pretty hard. Okay, like I said, this is just the, uh, this is just water. And my sprayer is junk. This tire's clean. I haven't driven the car either. So and the water's going out pretty great. Surprised to see what it did to the actual tire. I just look at my uh, my tire my tire rag and this up. Try that out. Tire rack right here, microfiber. Only tires and wheels. Don't touch the paint. Let's wipe, get this dry, and see what it looks like. Yeah, I can already tell it didn't do much. Even the, uh, there's some, uh, yes, residue of tire shine on there. Yeah, it's still on there. Didn't do much. I'll pull you guys in for a close-up right now that it gets dry. Okay, pull you guys in. Yeah, it looks the same. 
still there. You can see it up here a little bit. Right there you see it by the outside letters on top, right there by the dot code. See it a lot right there. Alright, so the uh, purple power and with some agitation didn't do shit. So let me see, let me try another stuff right there. Okay, so four to one. Purple power didn't do nothing. Well, let me see the. Uh... Alright, I guess I'll try the gray oceans. I guess. I don't like using it, but I'll try it, see what it does. It doesn't hurt. Actually, no, you know what? No, 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 I'm not gonna use it. It smells really bad. And I don't want my car to smell like it for the week. Okay, so this is gonna be equal all purpose. I know I said I was gonna use it for each tire separately, but <laughs> the Pro Power didn't do anything, so it's not really a good test, but we'll see. Go cleaner can do. There you go. Not very light on the product. Okay. I sprayed it generously. And I'm agitating. And this and this actually came the e-call purpose cleaner actually came in uh in a, in the little special purchase pack I guess from Adams Polishes. It, it was that and a, a bottle of a uh, VRT, which I'm going to use uh, tire dressing, and uh, two little foam applicator applicator blocks. So it came with this. Okay, it should be pretty, pretty well agitated. Rinse this stuff. Again, no high pressure. Just rinsing this off. Smells good though. Doesn't smell like it's gonna burn your nostrils. Your nose hair singed right off. It smells nice, at least. Sorry about the wind. It's a little windy. at it right now it looks pretty damn clean not a hundred percent it's maybe like 95 percent that's pretty damn good for an eco all-purpose cleaner I guess you could call it it's pretty good try the rim off right here a little bit That's 
That's why I like using degreaser. It stains. It stains up. Uh, stains your wheels. Like LA's totally awesome. That stuff stains wheels. Maybe it's LA sit there too long, but either way. Okay, go. It's all dry. I'll show you guys the tire right now, okay? I'm just, I'm just drying this up right here. You see, there's still some tire shine down here. Very little. But. Yeah, see, look, it looks pretty good. Nice black tire. Looks good. Still some tire shine. Still like left in there between the 101Y. Some in there. Some by the extra load right there. In between the size. A little bit down there. There's a lot more down here. I didn't scrub very well, I'm pretty sure. See right there. By the logo, a little bit down there. Not bad. Okay, so now we're gonna try the uh, the uh, uh, the actual rubber cleaner. So this one right here, this is meant to clean the tires in general. So we'll see how this does. So let's see how this does. So that, that second one was the uh, Eco All Purpose. That one, that one worked better than the Purple Power. And this is uh, the Tire and Rubber Cleaner. Let me just tell you what it smells like. It smells like a uh, very light degreaser. It doesn't smell bad at all. It smells good. I like it. Even the eco one smells good. We'll see how this one goes. I mean, so my main concern isn't the stop area, just because it got most of it out, you know? This isn't such a big deal. As long as you get most of the tire dressing out, or tire shine of your previous one, you can reapply a new one. This is pretty good. You can apply new tire dressing on top of this tire. It's pretty good. But I generally don't like like really high shine on my tires. I like sort of a matte sheen to it. I guess that makes sense. Satin. So I want to take as much of this off as possible. So when I apply the VRT, I want a nice, a nice even, I guess you could call it. I don't know if you even notice it, but let's use this, let's see how it looks. Let's get my brush ready. And I, I haven't even been rinsing this out. I don't really care. So probably not the best way to test the products, but whatever. The point is you're just gonna spray it on and scrub it. Let's spray if you open it, right? Okay, right away, right away I noticed that the tire rubber cleaner is like turning, turning the water brown right on the inside, look at that. Not even the eco cleaner is doing that. It's probably breaking off all the tire shine, the dirt, some leftover chemicals from other stuff. I don't know. Toxic waste. Hey, look at that. All right, I'll put you down. I'm going to scrub. Good scrub. Okay, scrub. problem area that was down here. Scrub that. Oh, these flies are annoying. Scrub this. Oh, and I just got the car dirty to top it off. Damn it. Okay. 
the bristles touch the paint. You need to rinse that. Okay, that's pretty well scrubbed down. Let's rinse this off. Oh yeah. Look at that runner. Look at that runner. Oh yeah. Oh buddy. That is dark brown. Almost black water. I wouldn't be surprised if the Adams actually took everything off. Everything. Whatever was left over. <laughs> you just heard my goose. He's over there in the back. Yes, I have one goose. Just one. The other died. Old age. We're like 15 years old. That is a clean looking tire, I'll tell you that right now. Really clean looking tire. I'll tell you right now, right off the bat, <laughs> the Adams did a lot more with a lot less product. Way better buy for the money, I'll tell you that right now. Is right there looking at me, cleaning a damn tire. All right, nice, you look really good. Now, as far as a percentage wise, as far as taking off the tire shine, I got off about maybe. 98, 99% of it. Maybe with a stiffer brush and some more scrubbing, we get all of the tire shine off. Like I guess I don't know if this is pretty valid because I mixed the, everything in there, but whatever. It worked for me. Tire's clean. I can reapply a new fresh coating of tire dressing. It looks really good. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments any questions about the products that I used or anything like that. Alright, see you guys in the next one.